Psalms 149 and verse 4. For the Lord takes pleasure in his people. He adorns the humble with salvation. Have you ever had a laughing fit? Can you remember a time where you laughed so hard it brought you to tears? I want you for a moment to remember that feeling again. That feeling of pure joy. This joy is a gift from God. It's a joy that He wants you to experience. I want you for a moment again to make a picture in your mind. This time I want you to picture Jesus. I want you to see him smiling, and I want you to see him laughing with you. His joy is contagious. God is so proud of you. He loves you so much. That's what the verse declares. He takes joy and delight in you. I want us to now make some declarations that we know to be true about our God. I want to ask you to posture yourself with your hands open and maybe your arms slightly raised. And we're going to say these statements together. Repeat after me. Jesus I feel how pleased you are with me. You delight in who I am. Your joy is contagious. Thank you for loving me. Let's bring our arms down now and take the next few moments and think of one person in your life who could use more joy today. Who's the first person who comes to mind? Imagine that you're looking at them and saying these words. Repeat them after me. You are so loved. When God looks at you, he thinks, I am so pleased with you. What I'd like us to ask God in these next few moments is to give you an opportunity to say those very words to that friend or that coworker or family member. Use your own words in asking God to give you an opportunity and to remind you to say those encouraging words to that person. God, I thank you that you love us so endlessly. And I thank you that you give joy to us as a gift in this life. To think today, as we conclude this prayer experience, that you get joy from watching over us, being near to us, and living life with us. We thank you that your arms are wide open to us. We thank you that you are so welcoming to us. We love you and we thank you for this day. Amen.